Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. We got another great presentation. We've been doing a lot of um, uh, videos on like the melatonin um, and the effect of melatonin. In this video, we're going to look at the melatonin and the blood sugar. Can it decrease the blood sugar in the patients with the diabetes? That's a clinical question. We're going to look at the scientific study and we're going to tell you what did the science is saying. All of our videos based on science-based, evidence-based medicine, okay? And again, my name is Premier Charyat. I'm a program director, internal medicine residency program, transitional residency program. I teach medical students and residents. I do a lot of research. I'm also director of research and I'm a student professor of medicine in two major universities. So let's get into our subject today. And we'll start with the melatonin. What is melatonin? It's actually, where's the production? In the, after, in the retina, this information come in like a luminous information that goes to the suprachiasmatic nucleus in the hypothalamus and the signal go to the pineal gland and that anytime when we get dark is the one, right? The signal come from retina, suprachiasmatic nucleus in the hypothalamus, go to the pineal gland and tell them to secrete melatonin, boom, it's secreted into your blood, okay? Now, pathogenesis of diabetes, right? Um, abnormal insulin in, I mean, sensitivity is the big issue. Hyperinsulinemia, there's going to be central obesity, progressive loss of beta cell. That's where, like, uh, the production and all that. And then impaired glucose tolerance, which will lead it to diabetes, okay? It can also, there's some genetic factors at play. We kind of um, uh, make them genetic factors, make the progressive loss of beta cells. And there is physical inactivity, kind of lead to central obesity, and there's high blood sugar, kind of also. All of this kind of affect and the make the patient um, high blood sugar and causing diabetes. Now, how does melatonin help in diabetes? What is the pathophysiology behind it? Let's look into that. In melatonin, it works on the insulin receptor tyrosine phosphorylation. What does it do that make insulin growth factor production increases? Okay, it's called IGF. So when you see, when you have increased insulin in the body, there's like a better sugar control. Now, the other ways you can help is like the main thing about melatonin. Every time we talk about melatonin, we know the circadian rhythm, the body clock, and how does it regulate our sleep me mechanism and all that. Same thing, when a patient or when a person have like, you know, this altered circadian rhythm, their sleep pattern is different, their eating, resting cycle is different, and then all of this kind of contribute to increase insulin resistance, increase blood sugar and diabetes. So what does melatonin do? It reset our circadian rhythm to like a normal, like a regular 24 bio clock is going to be working fine. So resetting of circadian rhythm or our biological clock, that's the main thing uh, melatonin does also. It also, uh, melatonin has some other effects also in the blood sugar. They increase the body metabolism. When our metabolism goes up, what happens? Our weight goes down, right? When we lose weight, that decrease our blood sugar, right? That also induce insulin secretion with the signaling pathway, and then is also improve beta cell function. So many, many ways, like, you know, if you look at the physiology, how does it work? Um, it is, I mean, you know, it's a, got a very good effect on controlling blood sugar. Now, what did we do? Now, we had to find a very good study to collaborate our, um, you know, physiology and is going to work in the clinical practice, right? So, we found this great study. This is a meta-analysis um, of randomized control studies. When you look at the evidence, a meta-analysis of randomized control studies had the highest evidence, okay? And let's see what we found out. The objective of the study was to look at the investigate the effects of melatonin supplementation on diabetes, for blood sugar control, design this again. We said this is a meta-analysis with lots and lots of uh, randomized control studies. Now the results, the first one they look at it, fasting blood sugar, you can see it's uh, above on this side. Um, so it is decreasing the fasting blood sugar very clearly. Melatonin, based on this meta-analysis, decreases fasting blood sugar. Now, melatonin also decreases in HbA1c level. Clearly shown in the study, it also decreases HbA1c. You can see the lowest diamond shifted to the left. Um, anything doesn't touch zero is significant, okay? And what does it do to the insulin resistance? Melatonin also decreases insulin resistance also, clearly seen in this um, uh, graph also. 
So, looking at the strength of the study, again, anytime you have a meta-analysis, that's a very good analysis, very good scientific basis, and of course, you get a randomized control study, that also. Those are the two major strengths of the study. Now, in conclusion, clearly, in this, based on this meta-analysis, mel melatonin can decrease the fasting blood sugar, can decrease HbA1c, and then it can decrease insulin resistance also. Okay, thank you very much. We'll be back with another uh, great presentation. Please help us our channel by subscribing so we can produce more videos like that. Again, thank you.